Welcome back to Frostpunk on the Edge. So, we are on day 16, and I think there's actually going to be one more settlement, because we're not done with that part of the objectives. Anyway, we can actually finish all the objectives for one of the colonies. So how about we do that? I have enough resources for all of it. And we'll get some wood in return. We should have enough storage space. Okay, let's just do all of it all at once. And hot springs are already done. We can send some resources for food. Might as well do that. Well, we got 500 for the rations. We're good, at least for now. All right, let's wait until we arrive at a new location. And we got even more food coming in. We got 43 food rations. I might actually like almost run out of space there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might not have enough space for that. We can maybe change the resource depot. Yeah, from wood to food rations. Yeah, we don't need the wood storage anymore. At least not at the moment. So let's switch to food rations. That's plus 300. Alright then. So, are we there yet? Doesn't look like there's yet another stage. This seems to be it, or is it? We've heard that the burn victims have arrived to your settlement after a long and exhausting journey. We are horrified to learn that almost half of them died on the way, and that the rest is in critical state. Please help them immediately or they will die too. Establishing a safe and fast connection between our settlements would help prevent such strategies in the future. Our people might distrust technology, but we can see its uses. We offer you steady food shipments every two days if you build a safe route. Okay, yeah, that would be nice. So, sounds like that's going to be the final stage. Let's see. Build upgraded transport depot. Build safe route. Depot upgrade in hot springs. Send constructor team to build camps on the safe route to hot springs. Okay, that sounds like a major project right there. So, first we have to upgrade the depot. Where do we do that? I don't see an option to do it. Hold on. Oh, it's probably right here. Yep. Upgraded transport depot. 45 wood, 20 steel. That's not too bad. We can just do it right away. Sure, let's just do it right away. That's kind of the point, I guess. And then we have to send the constructor teams. We got the resources. And also build depot upgrade in Hot Springs. I assume we can do that after we finish the transport depot upgrade back home. Anyway, we have arrived. So, first let's check out the isolated camp. Victims of the epidemic. New site discovered. Deep fracture. Yeah, maybe there's another camp in this direction. I don't know. We'll find out. We can still go check out the ice caverns. And maybe we should actually like go this way. I think I need to send constructor teams. If I'm reading this right. Yeah, I think so. Build a safe route. Yeah, send construction team. This is what we need to do with free constructor teams, I guess. Yep. Okay, let's go to the ice caverns right here. Off you go. And I guess we can get started right away on the constructor teams. Hold on. Oh yeah, we do have to wait for the transport depot upgrade. That's fine. Let's wait for that then. It is about to get colder. Okay, so the temperature will drop to minus 50. Good to know. We have a few days to prepare for that. I might need a few upgrades for that. But we can work on that once we finish our current research, which is Difference Engine. That allows Tier 4 technologies. There are definitely a few useful things we'll get from that. Okay then, carry on. So this will be our priority, eating. For the next few days, we'll need that. Because my current 
heating is not enough for minus 50 degrees. I can tell you as much. There's the upgrade. So now we can send construction teams right here. Anything else? Uh, nope. We got some wood incoming. Uh, okay, I might actually have to switch uh, one of our resource depots. This one, okay, they are both set to food rations right now. We can change that and let's change it to wood again because we have a lot of wood incoming. And it's not like we're producing any food ourselves. We do have 20 food coming in. Anyway, let's see, anything else? Research. We are still working on that. Oh yeah, construction teams, hold on. Let me pause for a second. Right here. That's 50 wood, 50 steel and 10 workers, let's do it. So this is where we're going. Yeah, this will actually cost me quite a lot of workers. I will have to unassign workers from a few things. I'm not a big fan of that. But if that's what we'll have to do, then I guess that's what we'll do. I have one idle worker total right now. So, yeah. Where the heck are all the workers? I might have to like this band one of my scouts, to be honest. I don't know, I'll have to think about it. We have 84 workers right now. Well, I mean, we have 20 at the army warehouse, so obviously there's that. We have 5 at the cookhouse, 10 at the coal mine. Then we have... Oh yeah, the sawmill is done. We can unassign the engineers. And dismantle the sawmill. Not needed in here anymore. We will move it further west. So let's extend the street a little bit. Alright then. It would be nice to get some more people actually. Can we ask for more people? Well, let's check. We have a lot of favor with these guys. So, they have some problems. Can you help us? We need a lot of workers. They will send 15 workers. Our favor will be exhausted. We can also get engineers. We can get 5 workers. Okay, engineers are valuable. But do we need engineers right now? I think we're fine. We could ask for just 5 workers for now. To not exhaust the favor. Yeah, wait. Engineers would exhaust my favor entirely, even just five of them. Okay, let's get 15 workers. We should have enough food for that. And clearly, I need more workers. So, carry on. There's the research. So now we can research tier 4 technologies. Let's see, what would be the most useful one? We could get advanced heaters, but then I'll need more coal. Coal consumption reduced by further 33%. Higher temperature. We'll need several. I might need an upgraded coal mine, actually. Okay, we have a few days to do all that. I will probably need upgraded heaters. Because the temperature will drop by 20 degrees. And as you can see, Army Warehouse is livable right now. That's with the heater enabled. How is our call balance right now? Okay, we do have a good surplus, but that will evaporate pretty quickly. What else can we do? What's this exactly? Infirmaries will heal people 15% faster. That's useful, but not right now, this moment. We can improve efficiency of the army warehouse by another 15%. We can make our coal mine more efficient. Obviously, we can unlock the steam coal mine. What else? Additional scouts? I don't think we need additional scouts at this point. I don't think so. 
So we can extend the range at the cost of doubling the colios. We can make them heat more efficiently. So raise the temperature around it at the cost of doubling the coal use. We can make them use less coal. Let's get advanced heaters. Okay, advanced heaters, because I will almost certainly need them. That will take nine hours. Okay, we might need some extra wood, but it's still incoming, right? Yeah, it's still incoming. We have arrived. So build safe route. 50 wood, 75 steel. Yeah, that's actually quite expensive. The lost scouts. We found the camp and the bodies of members of a scout team. One of our people recognized his friends who disappeared during the great storm. Apparently, after losing contact with New London, they built the camp to wait out the worst weather. We would like to bury them properly, for which we'll need some wood, and we kindly ask for your approval. I suppose we could do that? 40 wood. Okay, fine, we can do that. Carry on then. So, we just move on to the next one? Yes, yeah, so we only need one constructor team, right. Let's move on. Off you go. And what about the other colony? They don't seem to need anything from us right now. Which is probably a good thing. While the safe route is being established, we need to reduce the risk of the next eruption. Your engineers want to flood the caves to stabilize the flow. This shall stop eruptions and might give us bigger crops, but would also destroy the cave moss we are using as mild sedative. We would strongly prefer to drill a borehole to lower the pressure. Eruptions will still happen from time to time, but such is the nature of this place. Flood the caves, drill the borehole. Interesting. Hot springs will be displeased. Raw food shipments will rise by 10. Overflow reduction will be unlocked. Hot springs will be pleased, borehole will be unlocked. Well, see if I knew what exactly that means. Overflow redirection will be unlocked, or borehole will be unlocked. That's cool and all, but I don't know what exactly that will result in. I can see that we can get the bigger shipments of food, and that's nice. We might be fine without that. So, and we already kind of pissed them off earlier. Let's go with the borehole option. Hopefully that won't be too bad. Okay, so yeah, this is stage 3. Repair the damage after the eruption. Okay. Carry on then. So we are heading towards the ice caverns right now. Yeah, still 22 hours away. And we are heading towards the deep fracture. Let's see if we find anything interesting over there. And this is going to be the next stage, probably. Sir, our people at shipwreck camp complain that the locals are making them uneasy. Admittedly, these ex-cons are great workers, but they are rowdy, uncouth, quick to demonstrate their physical strength, and that they love to show off their technical skills, which our engineers find particularly unsettling. Okay, define technical skills. I mean, you guys will just have to deal with it. The shipments have arrived, so they should contact us, like, any moment now. What's up with steel? Well, we're getting it. It was just not going up very quickly. What was that? Yep, right here. We managed to gain access to the coal hold. In the process, your people found the registry containing our sentences. Most of our people were convicted for minor offenses under new harsh laws intended to raise cheap labor. But it turns out there are also arsonists and murderers among us. The registry contains no names, just prisoner numbers, but we think it's fortunate. We can give everyone a new life in this world, and to this end we ask you to destroy the registry. Now we must find them. Shipwreck camp will be displeased. 
their favor will be exhausted, new improvements will be unlocked. They will be pleased, this content will rise moderately, new improvements will be unlocked. Yeah, okay, fine, we'll destroy it. Our discontent is low, so that shouldn't be a huge problem. Nobody has to know, right? Here, we have arrived. Let's take a look. New site discovered. Alright, yeah, we are really far away right now. But okay, let's see if we can find anything interesting. Our construction team is still on the way. It's taking them a while. It kind of looks like they are almost there. Okay, one hour to arrive, but here it says three hours. Alright, whatever you say. They will be there. Soon. The temperature is about to drop. We will be fine for now, I'm mostly concerned about the minus 50 level. But by the time we get minus 50, we should be prepared. We'll check the overlay once it drops to minus 40. How much more time do we have? 15 days. That seems like a lot of time still. Okay, build the safe route. Here you go. And one more. Oh, I went a little bit too far. Whoops. My bad. Here. That will be the last one. And the safe route will be done. So, not sure if there's yet another stage after that. There's probably going to be something, because we still have 15 days left. We'll find out. So, carry on. Oh, did we run out of wood? Oh, I actually still need to build the sawmill. Right, let's do that then. Right here. All the trees will be in range. Okay. There you go. And then we'll still have some trees over here. Not a whole lot, but always something. And obviously we can get wood from one of the colonies, camps, whatever. Okay, we have arrived. I just need to wait to get more steel. Probably tomorrow. Now that the first improvements are complete, let's build something that should benefit both our settlements. Establishing a safe route between... Okay, another safe route. Okay, sure, I guess we'll do that. But we are still finishing this one, so you guys will have to wait just a tiny little bit. Maybe we should use another emergency shift. I don't want to use too much wood. That's 50 wood to use wooden supports. But we could use emergency shift. Oh, it will only be minus 50 for one day. But it might get colder for longer after that. I don't know. I would prefer to be prepared for that, so... We'll be prepared. Okay, new location. Right here. More steel. And a trailer wreck. Yeah, we are really, really far away now. Alright. Uh, that's the guy waiting for steel, basically. He will have to wait until tomorrow. We are in the middle of the night at the moment. And we can get a new law. Do we need anything in particular right now? Well, we can unlock prosthetics. That's an option. I already have the factory. Dwelling law. Yeah, sometimes people will be killed in a duel. I don't want that. We could get a public house. I don't think we need one. Patrons are less discontent. Uh, I don't think we need that, really. We could go for ceremonial funerals, but we didn't have anyone die. Oh, we could unlock uh, child labor safe jobs. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, actually. I kind of like that. As opposed to child shelters. This might be useful. Child workers can be injured in accidents. Actually, if we go for child shelters, we'll be able to use medic apprentices and engineer apprentices. And that seems like a much better idea. 
So let's get a shelter then. And we'll build one right away. Probably somewhere around here. Not quite sure how good the insulation is in it. Okay. Yeah, how are these buildings around here? Her house is fine, infirmary is fine. Yeah, they are all basically the same. They have level 2 building insulation, which shouldn't be a problem. The cookhouse only has level 1, so it's chilly at the moment. But nobody is actually working in there. Oh, I think it's chilly because, yeah, it's actually closed. I keep making that mistake. Anyway, we still don't have enough steel. Because it's still free time, nobody's working. Well, get to work, everyone. So, do we use emergency shift? This content will rise, but it's already super low. On the other hand, we seem to have a lot of time, so perhaps we don't need it. Uh, okay, let's use the steel first, and research can wait a tiny little bit. There. Safe route will be built. So, that's done now. We can go this way. We are not needed over here anymore. And now we need to wait to get a little bit of steel to start the research. There, children cared for, hope rises. And then we can get like engineer apprentices or something like that. Oh yeah, uh, upgrade the depot in hot springs. Hold on then. Uh, right here. We'll need steel basically. So, I guess we'll wait for that. Yep, right here. There's the borehole. Pretty raw food. Yeah, that's a lot of resources. Okay, I mean, I guess we'll do all that. Let's maybe do emergency shift. It should be fine. Okay, fine, let's just do it. It will increase this content, but whatever. It's fine. We can always lower it. It's still low. Hold on, call that home. Yeah, I still should upgrade the tents. It's just that it also requires steel, and we need steel constantly for so many things. Yeah, let's start some research. So now we could do... Advanced burners, which is 30. We could also upgrade the coal mine. I don't think that's necessary right now. Yeah, let's wait for slightly more steel. There, are 30. I think we need 35. Go on then. Okay, 40. What about tier 5? Uh, yeah, that's a little bit too expensive. Let's see. We can make the coal mine more efficient, that's an option. We could get healthcare insulation, which is only 20 steel. That affects medical posts, infirmaries, houses of healing and care houses. Plus one heat level. We could get cookhouse insulation. Yeah, I don't think we need that. Definitely no need to unlock the house, because we don't have enough materials for that. So, increase temperature. I don't like the part where we'll double the coal use, but that should be fine. Yeah, it's a little bit cold here, as you can see. And we can set it to heat level 1 or heat level 2 when needed. Alright, let's do that. Before it gets even colder. So, improved blowers. Fine, done. And then we can improve their coal use efficiency. That would be the general idea. And let's finish the depot upgrade as soon as we get the steel. We need 60 steel for that. Alright then. I still got some materials on some of my scouts. Station ruins. Okay. I'm still expecting to find like one more settlement. It's going to be the last location I'll check, probably. Because this objective is not done. Search Frostland for other settlements. And it's been taking a while to find it. One of our people died. Okay. 
Hold on, did we ever unlock the cemetery? We did. Yeah, we did. We just don't have, like, ceremonial funeral. Which is fine. So, carry on. Yeah, we know what to research. Uh, and also, wood. We need to assign people here. Should have been assigned earlier. And the turn... Oh, okay, that's not needed. Hey, it kind of is. Comfortable or cold? Yeah, we don't want them to be cold. Obviously. Uh, the safe route will have to wait. I'm not quite ready to build it right now. And we need steel for other things. The heating and healthcare in our settlement have improved, but your medics say that malnutrition is still causing many to fall ill. We don't have much, but we've managed to survive on our own. Yet, perhaps it's time to ask for help. We don't do this lightly, and we don't want to use you. We know that you are in contact with a settlement producing food, so maybe we could talk to them. We'll send you food, we'll put you in touch. I suppose we can put them in touch. Shipwreck camp will be displaced, new improvements will be unlocked. Interesting. I feel like there might be some downside to putting them in touch, but maybe not. Okay, fine, we'll put them in touch. What's happening here? Oh yeah, death of overwork, right. One of our people died suddenly during emergency shift. We don't know what happened, but it's likely it was a heart attack. All emergency shifts currently in progress will end, hope will rise. <sighs> okay, fine. I don't want to overwork them too much. And let's finish that safe route. So, right here. That's the one. Off you go. We got how much wood in range? 316. That will be enough for a while. Yeah, right. This will have to wait. <laughs> I keep clicking on that because they are waiting. But they will have to wait a little bit longer. I could send them back home, but like there's no reason to do that right now. Let's check the trailer wreck. More steel. Pretty steel. And it looks like we're done in this area, so now we can go all the way back. One day, 15 hours. How many resources do we have on that guy? 19 raw food, 45 steel, and 27 food rations. Okay, good enough. Our food reserve is still looking pretty good. So... Okay, 9 hours. That's still a lot of time. Cold homes. Yeah, I'm working on it. You'll have to start hitting eight of the cold homes within two days. Yeah, it will get colder within the next two days. But okay, let's try to do that. I mean, I'm literally already working on that. So I guess I'll just have to upgrade them to bunk houses. Not sure if this is going to be enough or not. It might be enough. Livable. Yeah, but it will drop once temperature drops. But we only need to do it for two days, so looks like we'll be fine regardless. The objective will be done. But I should still upgrade the homes anyway. So we'll do that. It's just that we need steel for that. Yeah, now we have to maintain it for one day, 23 hours. So that will be done before the temperature drops. Still, let's... Get some bunk houses. That's 10 steel for one of them. That's not too terrible. I can live with that. Okay, fine. That will have to do for now. They're waiting. You guys will have to wait a little bit longer. Sorry. We have other priorities at the moment. And yes, our coal reserves are full. So I could unassign people from the coal mine and the turn off the heater, because they don't need to be in there and we don't have to burn the coal. I'll just send them back in once our coal reserve drops. I could just build more resource depots, but that uses steel, I don't want to do that. 
Can we switch one of them? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Hold on, let's switch them to coal then. And send people back in. Back to work. Anyway, research. I'm still waiting for some more steel. I should have used some of that. But it's free time anyway. So it's not like we're doing research in the middle of the night. Are we on the way to build that depot upgrade? Yes. Four hours. Let's see what's going to be next. Something is probably going to be next. We got 14 days left until the confrontation. And we can pick up another law. So now we can pick up either medic apprentices or engineer apprentices. So they will be able to help at the medical facilities or workshops speeding up research. Uh, let's go with the medical facilities because we have more medical facilities than workshops. I have a grand total of one single workshop. Technically, I don't need that right now. So we can just pick it up later. What else can we pick up? Something that would actually be useful. Again, I don't think I need prosthetics all that much. It's more steel. I can't afford that. We could get ceremonial funerals, but again, we only had one dead so far. I don't feel like we need a public house, but it will help, so maybe we should get one? What the heck, let's get one. That's 20 wood, 10 steel. Okay, sure, we'll get one, why the heck not? I just need to wait until tomorrow to get our steel. And that leads to some other laws as well. Let's call it pipe and hole. <laughs> yeah, let's. Come on, give me steel. Oh, something is happening. Oh yeah, the safe route is finished. Nice. Good job. We confirm that a safe route between our settlements has been successfully established. It will allow us to quickly respond to emergencies and give us the much needed sense of stability. From now on, we will be sending you shipments of raw food every other day. We hope this route will benefit both our peoples greatly. Great news! So now we need to work on the other guys. Uh, but yeah, again, let's wait a little bit for steel. We got the station ruins. Winter Home Ruins, Steel Bridge. Yeah, let's go check out Winter Home Ruins. See what's going on there. Maybe there are people still left? We shall find out. So, yep, it's still 4 a.m. at the moment. We are still maintaining the temperature level. Yeah, the bunkhouse will be livable, which is fine. Come on. Give me the steel, damn it. Get to work, everyone. There it is. Uh, we need more than that. We need at least 20, I think. Come on, give me 20 already. Okay. Let's start some more research. So now we can get advanced burners, which requires 30. Fine. Okay, let's get advanced burners then. Here. That way they will use less coal. How's our coal balance right now at this moment? Yeah, we are already losing some. And I will have to turn on some of the heaters. Once temperature level drops even further to minus 50. It will be temporary, but... That might be the case for longer periods of time in the future. We have arrived. Winter home ruins. Let's see what's going on here. Children's mine, the shroud automaton. Okay, children's mine, all right. Well, let's go check that out. Okay, more steel. We need more than that. Should probably get a few more bunkhouses still. But they also require wood. I'm just saying. 
And we still need some upgrades for these people and the shipwreck camp. We are really grateful for all the work and the supplies you provided. We'd like to ask you to solve an issue. Your people are disturbed by the sight of our dead, whose frozen bodies we stored to compost them later. They want to build a cemetery and bury them, like in the old times. This is not our way. We want to respect the wishes of our dead, to be returned to the circle of life, not trapped in the permafrost forever. Will you help us prepare a composting pit for them? Okay, sure, we can do that. This content will rise, but that shouldn't be a problem. But that's even more resources that we'll have to use. I guess we still have 13 days, so... Yeah. Okay, uh, raw food, raw food. Let's help the other guys, because I could actually use a little bit of wood right now. So... We'll help the shipwreck camp. Let's see, trade resources for wood? No. Depot upgrade, sawmill. Yeah, that's a lot of steel. I can only do one. Sawmill. Increased trade with us. Huh. Well... 50 steel. Okay, fine. Sawmill. Done. I'm kind of considering wooden supports, but that's 50 wood for just one single day. And we don't have that much wood to begin with. And we will run out of our own wood eventually. So I'm not a huge fan of doing that. Yep, they will have to wait. Sorry, guys. We don't have the spare steel at the moment. I don't even think that's much of a priority. Oh, and we have to build a public house. I almost forgot about that part. Right here. So, somewhere around here? It's pretty big. I might have to extend the street and build it, like, over here. Okay, let's build it over there and we'll extend the street slightly. There you go, done. Yeah, we got three days to build it. Lots of time. 33 steel. What else can we do? Yeah, uh, we might have a little bit too much food soon. Do we have any food incoming right now? Uh, not right now. Well, we got 50 food every two days. Maybe we should switch from soup back to like regular standard meal. Yeah, how about we do that? We don't need to use soup anymore. That's for sure. I might just build one more resource depot. What the heck, let's build one more resource depot. We should have enough steel. It's 20 steel. Fine. One more. Done. And we'll just use that for food rations. Because we got even more coming back with one of our scouts. Advanced burners. Research is done, okay. What's next? I don't think we need radiator extensions right now. Okay, right now I can't research anything because I don't have enough resources. Let's finish that resource depot. And we can grab another low. Something over here. Moonshine. We can give people... right. Every meal slightly lowers discontent. Eating soup causes less discontent. Let's go with that. Okay, let's go with that. Moonshine. That will definitely keep people happy. So there's the resource depot. We'll use that for food rations. Done. We should be fine as far as storage space goes. And now we need new research, so wait for some steel. I think we should improve the efficiency of the army warehouse by now. Should have done it a little bit earlier, probably. Children's mine. Yeah, we go inside. It turns out that the mining corridors reaching deep under the permafrost give shelter to dozens of children accompanied by a handful of old, frail people. The mining machines broke long ago. Now the coal is being extracted by kids. A small stature allows them to traverse the tunnels easily. The children are proud that they manage on their own and reject our suggestion to move. We can help them by improving their living conditions in return for coal. Okay. 
Well, I guess we'll help them. So we have to send the construction team. Let's send these guys. Because they are not doing anything right now anyway. That will take 22 hours. And we can move on to... Destroy Automaton, I guess. Alright then. Yeah, I knew there's going to be one more. And now the objective is done. So now we made contact with all three. I hope we'll have enough time. We got 13 days and it feels like we need a crap ton of resources. This entire scenario would be really harsh on the highest difficulty. Well, there's the public house. That will keep people happy. Or at least happier than before. So, yeah, we'll keep an eye on our food, but it should be fine. For the nearest future. Uh, need more steel, but we need to wait until tomorrow with that. Actually, this is going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't, and subscribe for more daily videos. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.